is up you guys welcome back so today girl we are going shopping and we're going shopping everywhere <laughs> i am gonna be hitting victoria's secret sephora i'm outside tj maxx right now and i'm on the hunt for some really cute juicy couture bags we're gonna go by marshall's home goods girl we're hitting all the favorite spots I hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. It is beautiful outside here. It feels like fall and your girl is in the mood to do some serious shopping. So yeah, let's go. I will see you guys in the store. If you are new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on bell notifications because girl, it is fall. We are about to be going into Christmas and I do a lot of hauls, a lot of shopping vlogs. So if that's something you're into, definitely stick around. All right. I will see you guys in the store. Fingers crossed. We get lucky. Okay. Let's see if we can find some juicy... Okay, guys, I'm literally freaking out. You do not know how long I've been searching for this bag right here. And then this one, too. Both of them in the same day. The Speedy and that. And then this Steve Madden bag I thought was adorable. You know these are coming home with you, girl. Like, I'm so happy. So happy. So, next up, we're headed to the makeup bag section. I found some new Impressions Vanity and Hello Kitty ones. This one was $40, which I thought was a little overpriced. She's cute, but she ain't that cute. And then so we got some more Hello Kitty, some Sanrio. This really cute Hello Kitty exercise mat for $19.99. Next up, I wanted to check the robe section, see if we could find some new Juicy. These are some ones that we've seen before. They're cute, but nothing new back here but you know you always got to check it because you never know what's coming in next up i found this really cute hello kitty makeup bag by the checkout section this one was 64 dollars. it's really cute looks like it could hold a lot and then these really cute fall blankets this purple one right here i thought was adorable Okay, you guys, before we go to uh, Victoria's Secret and Sephora and all that, before I pull out of this parking lot, I have to say thank you. Thank you, Shopping Gods. I have been searching for these bags for literally weeks now. I did not think I was going to find them, and to find both in the same day, Speedy one is definitely my favorite. I mean, I love them both, but the Speedy, well, I don't know they're both so cute i just i can't believe i found both of them in the same day okay you guys so we are gonna stop by victoria's secret first see what's new i know while i'm in here i want to check out the new teas perfume that they have and see if i like it Okay, so this is the new Tees Coco Soiree, and they did have a deal going on where you could get like the bag and the body spray and all that, the bundle. It smelled really good, and I sprayed it on, and I went to Sephora and Lush, and I wanted to kind of like let it sit and see, and honestly, it just, it wore off really quick, so I'm going to kind of, I'm going to think on that one. I'm going to probably wait until it goes on sale. But over in the pink side, they had a couple new things. I thought the black outfit was really cute. And then they had these like cotton fleece sets. The top was 58 and then the bottoms were 58. I thought those were super cute, especially for the winter. Just really cozy. And then I was on my way out and I found the Victoria's Secret fashion show row. I will say it's cute, but it's definitely not like the quality that they used to make them. It was really, really thin, especially for the price. So next up, we are headed into Lush and I found some of the Barbie collection and they had some Snow Fairy out, which is one of my favorites, all time faves. And they were putting out some of their like fall scents. 
over here. These pumpkin ones were so cute. They were a little tiny for my taste, but they were really, really cute and they smelled really good. And then over here, I found the Barbie bath bombs. They also had some of these little gingerbread men. They were putting their Christmas stuff out, snow fairy, and then a couple of Halloween. And then next up we're in Sephora. I wanted to check out the new Too Faced Christmas collection and I thought it was cute, the little pop the cork palette. And I had to restock on some concealer and I just wanna kinda see what's new in here. And most of the time I have to order online because all of, like a lot of stuff is out of stock or they don't have the shade range in store. So yeah, we're just gonna look around in here today, see what all we can find. I wanted to see what the contour wands from Charlotte Tilbury were like. I will say they were very, very pigmented. And then these Fenty Velvet Liquid Lipsticks. I thought the shade range on those was gorgeous. To restock on a brow pen from Benefit. And then next up, we're gonna head into Ulta and get a couple restocks in there, see what's new. So I noticed they were already putting out some of their Christmas collections from Tarte and Too Faced over here. They had the Too Faced Snow Globes collection and then some of these lip injection sets and some of the ornaments and all of that. Tarte had some really pretty palettes. I swatched a couple of them and honestly they were really really pretty like this set right here. I was actually really surprised. It's been a while since I've swatched anything from Tarte. Over here, they had the Merry Makeup set from Too Faced. If I pick up any of these palettes, it's probably going to be that one. I think it's really cute. And then they had the Popcorn Balls one. And I was checking out the Tarte. They're kind of like a dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury. And girl, I swatched it and it ripped off so quick. So that was a negative for me. Okay guys, so let's see what we can find in Burlington. Sometimes they give, sometimes they don't. First up, I found these Juicy Couture makeup bags. This one was silver, it was $14.99. And I was very surprised to find this one in here for $12.99. I actually just bought this on Amazon for 21 bucks. So good deal there. And that was literally all we found in Burlington. Sometimes they give us goods, sometimes they don't. So next up, we're gonna head into Ross. See what we can find. I found these really cute Juicy Couture slippers and they were already putting out their Christmas stuff and it wasn't a whole bunch, but I did find a couple things like this really cute Nutcracker for $14.99. So I'm on the hunt for some more Juicy Bags and Marshalls and I walked in and immediately spotted this one right here. Are you kidding me? Third one today. You know she's coming home with me. They had some other cute like winter and fur bags. I think fur is going to be really big this winter. Like really big. Um, and then next up we're headed to the makeup section. We found this mirror a while back but they're coming back out in store. So if you've been looking make sure to hit up Marshalls checking through the makeup section and I found this Too Faced palette this better than chocolate that came out last year I think it was and the price on this is $29 which isn't bad because it usually retails for like what close to 50 and check the robe section again see if we can find any juicy couture anything new I didn't see really anything new back here we've seen these same velour sets before I did find this um blue one and the lavender one i've seen the lavender but not the blue i thought that was pretty and then checking through their candles over here i found some new juicy couture scents the sunset palm one smelled really really good and then looking through their halloween section i was honestly surprised they didn't have more which i know that we're only like what 30 days from halloween but come on man come on i did find a couple christmas things like these gingerbread pillows these were absolutely adorable and i actually just ordered one it's like this girl one right here from claire's it's coming in in a couple days i'll show you guys so i didn't pick those up but those are really cute for 30 bucks and then I found a ton of Barbie t-shirts over in the clothing section, like a ton of Barbie. Oh, you thought I was feeling you? 
you guys. So <laughs> I stopped by Dunkin'. I got the Ice Spice Munchkin drink. Here is what it looks like. I had to pull over to do a little taste test on camera. So my whipped cream has kind of melted, but it's got pumpkin munchkins. It's got cream, caramel, drizzle, and then it's got probably, I don't know how many bajillion grams of sugar, but we're going to do a taste test. It's supposed to have a couple of those little munchkin donut, little round donuts in there. It's actually really, really good. Not too sweet, and it kind of has like a grainy texture to it from the um, from the donuts. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. I give it an eight out of ten. Good. Okay, so we are in Home Goods now. Gonna check out. I'm really looking to see what they have for Christmas because Home Goods Christmas always, always delivers. But first, we're gonna check the Halloween section first and see if there's anything cute over here. They had a bunch of spooky season stuff, nothing that really caught my eye. I'm looking for another cute fall blanket, but all of these were kind of Halloween themed. But I was wanting something like maybe pink with a couple pumpkins on it. Their Christmas stuff is already starting to come in though. You'll see here when we get over to the next aisle, like it's already starting to flood into the stores and I'm so excited. I know, I know we're not even through fall yet, but I just, I love Christmas so much. So here is some of the Christmas stuff. They got a bunch of little glittery trees in and they still have a ton of fall wreaths. Over on this aisle was more like their snow globes and a lot of the kind of girly Christmassy decor over here. But I didn't see anything like any gingerbread houses or anything like that. Next up, we're going to go check out the mugs. I found a bunch of these little sushi bowls, these little Hello Kitty ones. This one was Christmas themed and then they had this pink one in the back here. And you're about to see me almost break it. <laughs> one of the workers walked by and she was like, girl. <laughs> Um, and then next up we are headed to the back. Oh, I did find this really cute You saw that display right there that cake display for Halloween. I thought that was adorable And then this store was so crowded with like the floating shelves and everything So I kind of got in and got out Okay, my cars are wrecked back here, but the bags are filling up. I think that might be our last stop. I'm not positive if it is, I will see you guys when we get home. But yeah, here is our haul so far. All right, you guys, so I am back home. I got all my stuff in here. I was like, do I sit down and do a sit down haul or just kind of go through it with you guys? So I'm just going to go ahead and go through it because it's getting a little late in the day and your girl's gotta cook some dinner. So let's start off first with what I picked up from Lush. Okay, first up, I picked up these, I picked up two of these Barbie bath bombs right here. I was surprised they still had some left. Smells absolutely amazing. I'm obsessed. I cannot wait to take a bath. I got two of those. And then I picked up one of the Snow Fairy, this one right here. This is one of my all-time favorite scents. I love it so much, you guys. It, my room smells amazing right now, like just from pulling this out of the bag. Love it. So, yeah, I think I only spent like 30, 35 bucks in Lush. And they gave me this little sample. Uh, this is a beauty sleep mask. What was this? I forget what she said. The, um what the scent is on this one but she gave me a little sample of the beauty sleep mask i'm excited about that now that we got glitter everywhere let's do well you already know marshall's you already know that juicy bag was coming home so i've got another one three in one day this has to be like one of my luckiest of all time like stop stop 
it's too pretty this is so pretty i'm gonna take the chain off somehow hopefully it comes off if not like i'm literally just gonna get some clippers and take the chain off i don't like the strap on it i just want to carry it like this i think it's so cute so this one was is it 24 yeah 24 bucks so cute and then we got our other juicy bag and the speedy so let's do sephora some of the stuff i got in sephora i'm actually gonna have to i didn't get everything i was looking to get i'm gonna have to order online so i picked up a mini version of the milk hydro grip primer because i am out of mine they sent me some a while back and i've already went through it and then i picked up this benefit brow pencil it's been a while since i've used benefit brow pencil but i was like you know what let me give it another try and then i picked up this Too faced concealer in natural beige i was looking for the makeup by mario um contour stick and then also the I think it's the Patrick Ta palette, the new one he came out with. Couldn't find it, so I'm going to have to order that one online. And then, I didn't show you guys this. I didn't even film in Target, but I stopped by Target, too. And I found this really cute ghost um, pillow in the dollar section for 5 bucks. How cute is this? It was the only one that they had. And then, and then I was super surprised to see this. So, this is like all glass and ceramic i'm gonna use this this was five dollars i'm gonna use this to put some candy corn in and put it in my kitchen i think that's gonna be really cute and then i've been wanting to try and i can't find this anywhere at walmart anywhere uh the elf power grip hydro primer it's supposed to be a dupe for milk so we're gonna try this i think this was like 10 bucks and then from Ulta, so this is the prettiest. I can't believe I've went so long without trying this. So this is the Gloss Balm, and this is in shade Fussy. Uh, before I wrap this video up, I will swatch it for you guys. It is so pretty. It literally makes your lips, because I've already tried it on when I got in the car. It literally makes your lips look like glass. Packaging is really pretty, and it smells really good, too, when you put it on. Okay, and then from TJ Maxx, too, I found some Glossier. So, this was $6.99. It's this really pretty liquid lip. And then I found this contour for $9.99 right here. So, I'm really excited to try that. And then this, I didn't buy this, but um, they sent this over. I do care sent this over. That's this little cookie face mask. I opened this up last night, you guys. It literally smells like a cookie. It's got cocoa powder in it. So I thought that was really cute. So lip gloss, I wanted to show you guys, like, look how, is the camera doing it justice? Because it looks like glass in person. It's so pretty, so pretty. But yeah, that is my mini haul. That is my shopping vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, if you made it this far in the video, drop me some little shopping cart emojis down below. And next week, I want to try to go by the at-home store because they have a ton of Christmas stuff coming in. And I really want to try to get an early start. I mean, I'm already probably late to the game, but I really want to start um, shopping for some Christmas stuff. And then there's a new home goods I want to go buy, so... Yeah, if you guys want to stick around, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss that. Other than that, I hope you guys all have a great rest of your weekend. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I love you, and I will see you back here on my next one. Bye, loves.